Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, you will be learning how to perform a functional testing. I am going to explain you what are the various steps you will be performing while doing functional testing. So before moving forward, if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then definitely please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos will be in your inbox as and in when we publish our new video. So let us proceed. Proce let us proceed further to understand what are the different types of uh, steps we perform during functional testing. The first step we normally perform is Basically, tester has to understand the requirement. If it is a waterfall model, we call it as a requirement. And if it's a agile model, we call it as a user stories. Basically, a tester has to understand these requirements in a clear and crystal manner. So that is the first step. The next step is once we understand the requirement, he has to write the he understand the requirements he has to write the overall plan for testing how you will be performing based on the requirements what are the different types of testing you will be performing and everything you will be detailing out in a test plan then you will be creating a detailed test plan there once the test plan is done you will also be writing a test cases for the user stories or the requirements which you are going to test it that is the third thing you will be doing it the fourth thing you will be doing here is once the test cases has been created you will also be creating a test data because you should understand for every test case execution what all the data requirement is there what kind of production like data you should create to execute the test cases so that is the time you should gather and create the test data in inputs for it. The fifth one is you will be executing the test cases. You will be executing the test cases. Either it could be a manual or it could be an automated way. You can execute these test cases in any of these two ways. So once the execution is done, once the test, test case execution is done, you should be comparing, you will be comparing the actual versus the expected outcome. So what is actually coming when you are executing a test case and what is expected out of from that test case. If it is both are same, then the test cases we will be marking as a pass. If both are incorrect, then you will be marking it as a test cases fail and you will be a logging a difference. These are the seven important steps you will be performing as part of functional testing verification. I hope you are able to understand clearly what are these seven important steps that would be performing for functional testing. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please click on like button. And if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future related videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance the testing knowledge. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.